You've probably taken a moment to look up at the night sky and suddenly seen a streak of light cutting across the horizon. If that has ever happened to you, know that you're not alone. I myself spot meteors fairly often. Sometimes one appears every week. What makes these phenomena so fascinating is the way they appear out of nowhere, turning the sky into a true show of light and energy for just a few seconds. Recently, one of these sky shows happened again. This time, even more impressive. A meteor was spotted streaking across the skies of Brazil, offering a spectacular display of physics and brightness in our atmosphere. As soon as the space rock made contact with the air, it began to disintegrate in an intense blaze, creating the event that many people were able to witness. When we talk about meteors, people usually think of space rocks crashing to the ground, but that's not always the case. In fact, the word meteor refers to any phenomenon that occurs within Earth's atmosphere. That's right, thunder, lightning, and even a fiery rock streaking across the sky. All of these are technically classified as meteors. To explain better, when a rock from space is still outside the atmosphere, it's called a meteoroid. Once it enters our atmosphere and creates that glowing trail, it becomes a meteor. And if the rock is tough enough to survive the intense entry and reach the ground, then it gets a new name, meteorite. Most meteors are caused by tiny rocks, often as small as grains of sand, that have been floating around in space since the formation of the solar system nearly 5 billion years ago. Some of them come from asteroids or even planets, but most simply wander through the cosmos until they're caught by a gravitational field like Earth's, pulling them into their final journey. These fragments can vary a lot in size. Some are almost invisible, while others can be as big as a soccer ball, or even the size of a car. But the most spectacular events, like the one recently observed, are much rarer. Still, when they do occur, they remind us just how dynamic and unpredictable the universe can be. To fully grasp the scale of the phenomenon that occurred between the states of Goiás and Minas Gerais in Brazil, we need to go way back in time, billions of years. Most of the meteors that pass through our skies originated during the formation of the solar system, around 5 billion years ago. These rocky fragments were already drifting through space back when the planets were just beginning to form. Some broke off from asteroids or planets after violent collisions, but most are what scientists call sporadic material random pieces moving along chaotic orbits through space. Now, if we want to figure out where exactly a space rock came from, the best thing would be to recover the object that caused the meteor. If it had survived the heat of atmospheric entry, chemical and visual analysis could reveal important clues about its origin. For example, scientists can detect gases trapped inside the rock, tiny bubbles that, when examined, tell us whether the fragment was once on the surface or deep inside a planet. In addition, Internal patterns in the meteorite structure can also reveal whether it was exposed to extreme pressure or heat, suggesting it went through complex geological transformations. But when physical fragments aren't available, scientists can still analyze the images captured during the fall and use triangulation to calculate the rock's trajectory. This makes it possible to estimate its original orbit and, from that, suggest whether it came from the asteroid belt a region full of space debris located between Mars and Jupiter. That's actually where most of the space objects that reach us come from. Gravitational disturbances, often caused by Jupiter itself, can knock these little rocks off their original orbits and send them toward Earth. Most of the time, they burn up before anyone even notices. But now and then, a larger, more visible object appears, just like in the recent event. The most spectacular part of all this, of course, is the atmospheric entry. When a meteoroid hits the upper layers of Earth's atmosphere at incredibly high speed, a violent and energetic process begins. The air in front of the rock gets compressed so intensely that it creates enormous heat, enough to not only heat up the rock, but also ionize the gases in the atmosphere as it tears through. The result is a brilliant trail of light that may last only milliseconds, but that's more than enough to amaze anyone lucky enough to be looking up at the right moment. In the case of the meteor seen over Brazil, all of this took place on May 10, 2025, at 6.24 p.m. local time. The rock, probably a small meteoroid, entered the atmosphere at extremely high speed, creating a powerful flash of light in the sky. And thanks to sky monitoring cameras in central Brazil, the event was recorded from multiple angles, allowing for an even more detailed analysis. When the rock entered the atmosphere, it was moving at incredible speeds, on average around 11 kilometers per second, which is about 40,000 kilometers per hour. In some cases, meteoroids can travel even faster. At those speeds, even the thin air found at high altitudes creates massive resistance. 
This leads to the compression of the air right in front of the object. And here's a key point in physics. When gas is compressed, it heats up. That happens because the molecules are forced into a smaller space and start colliding more frequently. The heat generated becomes so extreme that it begins to vaporize the rock, putting its structure under tremendous stress. With pressure and heat acting at the same time, cracks start to form. And in just a few seconds, the entire rock can break apart. That's likely what happened with the meteor seen over Brazil. The images show a bright trail of ionized gas and, just before the light disappears, a small explosion. That explosion is the point where the object can no longer hold together. It fractures, increasing the surface area in contact with the air and speeding up its disintegration. This type of explosion is technically called an airburst, and it can release an impressive amount of energy, comparable to the detonation of several tons of explosives. Fortunately, since all of this happens at very high altitudes, usually above 80 or 90 kilometers from the ground, it doesn't pose a direct threat to people on the surface. At most, someone might see the flash in the sky or, in rare cases, hear a loud boom a few minutes later. By the way, this process of compression and ionization also explains the intense colors of the phenomenon. The gases in the atmosphere, when excited by heat, emit light in specific colors. Nitrogen, oxygen, and other common elements in the air glow in shades ranging from blue to green. Interestingly, unlike what many people think, the composition of the rock itself doesn't have much influence on the visible color of the meteor. What actually glows is the atmosphere burning around it. A great example of this is the re-entry of SpaceX's Starship, where we can clearly see this incredible light show. What's most impressive about this kind of event is how fleeting it is. The entire display of light and energy lasts only a few seconds. And yet, we can extract an enormous amount of information from it. From the rock's origin to how it behaves when passing through the atmosphere, everything can be analyzed in detail, as long as the event is properly recorded. And speaking of that, it's important to mention, in this specific case, it's very unlikely that any fragment of the rock made it to the ground. The images and analysis of the event suggest that it was completely vaporized during entry. What remained for us was the glow, the trail of ionized gas, and for a lucky few, the chance to witness something so incredible and rare in real time. What's truly fascinating is that this actually happens far more often than we imagine. Tons of space material fall to Earth every year. Most of it is so small that we never even notice. But from time to time, a bigger meteor crosses the sky, grabs our attention, and reignites that sense of awe we feel when faced with the unknown. A powerful reminder that, even surrounded by technology, we are still part of a wild, unpredictable universe full of surprises. The truth is, we never know when the next one will appear. It could happen a month from now, next week, or even tonight. That's why it's always worth keeping your eyes on the sky. After all, each meteor is like a time capsule a piece of cosmic history that traveled for billions of years before ending its journey in a brilliant flash above our heads. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps the channel reach more people and keeps us going with new content about the mysteries of space. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button down below and join us on this journey through the universe. And keep looking up. You never know. The next cosmic show might already be on its way. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.